If you would like to learn how to change the color of SVG icons with CSS, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Anya and my goal here is to help you build beautiful websites. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use custom CSS to target SVG code to change the colors of the SVG icons. So first, let me explain the difference in how vector images can be made. So here we have two um, circles which look like they are identical, but uh, in reality, this element is a single uh, path uh, with a fill and a stroke, while this is built with two separate objects. One is the uh, outline and the second one is the middle uh, element. Okay, here this is all together and here we have two elements, one with the black fill and second with the blue uh, fill, while here we have a single element with a blue fill and black stroke. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because there will be a difference in how the SVG code look, uh, looks like when we uh, save the file. So I saved the first circle um, with a single path, the blue one, and the second one with uh, two different elements as the pink one. Okay, so let's see this, uh, this code. This is the website I'm using to see the uh, the code behind the SVG image. It also has the option to optimize it. So that's the image and this is the, um, the SVG code. So if I choose here to prettify it so we can see it better, it uses a single circle element and it has a fill and a stroke, okay? But if I choose the second uh, image, this one will um, use two elements, a circle and a path and a circle has a fill uh, defined and path, there, there's no uh, fill or stroke because by default every shape would have a black fill and no stroke. So the second path is uh, default. So once you upload your SVG image uh, here, uh, you can then copy the CSS code and add it to the code module inside Divi instead of adding an SVG image because as you see here, I made a little section with three uh, cards and when I hover over each uh, section, each column, the image changes its color. It wouldn't be possible if I added the, an SVG icon here uh, as an image, but it is possible to change its color with CSS if we are using a code module. So if I enable the builder here for a moment, just to quickly show you how is that uh, build. So uh, let's see, we have a row with a code module for the icon and the call to action module, okay? And um, then we are using some uh, C uh, CSS to, to style it because as you see on hover, not only the icon changes, let me show you here, but we also change the button color. So there is a bit more to it, but just let me show you um, if we inspect the page and now the column when we hover over column, so I select this, we can see that there is CSS, one second, CSS uh, applied here. So let's select our code module inside this column. And inside Mm, let's move that here. Inside the code module, we have our SVG code, okay? And it uses a path. And this path 
has a stroke because I didn't outline stroke in stro strokes in Illustrator. So it's a stroke, not a fill, like, a, a, you know, that it can be different. There's no fill here, but it has a different stroke color. So I could just simply change it to a different value using the stroke property. So I'm targeting uh, this um, by using the star symbol that would select everything inside the SVG uh, code inside the this module. I added the DL color CSS class to the column and when I hover over the column the all the elements inside the SVG uh, and inside the ETPB code module will uh, change the stroke. The same method I'm using to target the, the button. So as you can see, the simple CSS can be applied to, to an element by using fill or a stroke. You can target your, um, your SVG uh, images and just change its uh, appearance with, with CSS. You can uh, use not only the stroke and fill properties, but any CSS properties. You can change the size, animate it, do all kinds of different stuff with it. You just need to be able to target this element. And you can also do that, but by changing, if it's more complex, uh, image it may have multiple paths and they may be in different colors you can define their CSS classes for each path and then target it using that CSS class and just define the stroke or fill or any other uh, properties I hope this was helpful please let me know in the comments and feel free to download this uh, DV section from my blog post and I'll see you next time